So these are my toddler's Christmas gifts and some stocking stuffer ideas and I'm gonna talk a little bit about Santa. I'm trying to do this quick because I don't want Blair to hear me. <laughs> um, so her main big gift is a Yodo player. We got the Yodo Mini and it's a portable version of the Yodo player. So Yodo is a screen free audio speaker that lets kids listen to audiobooks, um, music, family friendly radio, and a kids podcast, like a daily podcast. There's also sleep sounds available and there's no microphone, no camera, and no ads. No. So it's used with Yodo cards that can be, like I said, audiobooks or music and much more. They have a really big library for the Yodo cards. They also have a Yodo app available to make things easier on your end. You don't need to be connected to Wi-Fi um, when you're using the Yodo player on the go. Okay. And if you are on the go or just using it for quiet time, it can be used with headphones, um, wired or Bluetooth. You can even get the make your own cards where you can record yourself reading your kids favorite books to them or their loved ones can read their favorite things to them and you can have it saved onto a card for them so the players are essentially screen free but there is a display screen for the time and the pixel art that pops up for each card and it changes for every chapter or for every song if you are listening to a music card. And if you do a create your own card, you can choose your own pixel art and you can organize the pixel art for your chapters or tracks. Also, if you have purchased music, you can make your own little mixtape for your kid and save it all onto a card for them. It seems like there's so much that you can do with the Yoda players, but it can just be as simple as it being compatible with the cards that you buy. So the cards feel similar to a credit card and they're really good quality. They also have a Yodo Club that you can subscribe to and you'll get two cards in the mail every month. You can listen to the cards that you purchase instantly from the app while you wait for the physical cards to come in the mail. I can't wait to build Blair's little Yodo collection. So far, we got her the Llama Llama um, stories collection and the Princess and the Frog because Tiana's her favorite princess and she's gonna love it. She loves that movie so much. I want to collect her these cards and just have her listen to them with her little headphones that we got her that I will mention later in the video. But yeah, I think it's gonna be good and I think she's really gonna love it and I think it's perfect for her age so yeah the princess and the frog card and then the last card we got her is the little mermaid uh 2023 the soundtrack so it's the score and all the songs from the movie because she loves the little mermaid so we also got the yodo adventure jacket they call it a carrying coat for your yodo and we got it in the color bluebird because she already knows what the Yoda player is. I've showed her videos and stuff and asked her if it would be something that she would like and I explained her how it works and showed her videos and everything and she wanted this color, so. I also found this adjustable carrying strap on Amazon. It's really cute, it's rainbow, her favorite color, besides brown, just like me. And yeah, I'm gonna make like a, an adapter for the Yodo Mini to go under her little carrying case and then attach the rainbow strap that I got for her so she could carry it around. Like, it's gonna be cute. So I also got her headphones for It's from Five Below. And they're strawberry headphones, but I could not find a picture of them and I wrapped most of these things, so I'm just gonna pop pictures up here because yeah, I wrapped everything right away. 
because I wanted to put everything away and be on top of it. But I didn't take a picture or video or anything, so these are like the closest things I could find, but they just have little like soft strawberries on the side. They're really cute. And they're kid headphones, obviously. She keeps coming into the room, so. The next thing we got her were My Lai Mice, and they're so cute. I'm obsessed, and now I'm gonna wanna also start her a My Lai collection. I already know it. We got her the Mom and Dad Mice, and the Sleepy Wakey Baby. So freaking cute. She's gonna love them. She already knows about them as well. I show her things all the time on my phone, like, on Instagram or we like watching little toy unboxing things together I watch them with her and a what a green marker okay so she has seen like little unboxings of it she thought it was so cute and I don't blame her yeah we only got her those three so far but I mean they're really beautiful they're really nice quality they're handmade or hand finished and they're just these little cute like they're so cute and we're gonna get more I already know it So the next thing I found thrifting and it's this little jewelry box from like 1987 or I, I think that's what it said but it's just a little old jewelry box that I want to kind of make over not amazingly not beautifully because I don't have time right now if if I found this 
a while ago I would have done a better job but I'm still working on it I just want to take everything off and put wallpaper and everything and I'm trying to make it into like a little house for the My Lai Mice uh, she already has a dollhouse but until she gets much more like I just thought it would be cute because when she gets them um, we're gonna be at my mom's house for Christmas and I just I thought it was cute it was cheap and it's beautiful and I know she's gonna love it because she already loves her dollhouse but it's just like a little version of a dollhouse like really cute I'm trying to um, take those bird those soft bird fabric out of it like I don't I don't know what that was but I want to put um, like clear glass windows um, her dad told me that he gave me the idea to do that actually to put windows so that it looks more like a house and to put like stained glass windows and use the like phone like a screen protector as a window so really good idea i'm trying to do that i'm in the process i'm almost done so yeah hopefully tonight i can work on it more but this is what i got done so far but i know she's gonna love that and we're gonna use the little bottom drawer for the little baby the little baby's bed <laughs> i think it'll be really cute also i found a little lamp like a little night light on amazon for her mice to put in the little dollhouse it's a working lamp it's it was a little bit expensive um it's cute is it necessary no will my baby love it yes she will love it very much so i think it's just a cute little addition for her little dollhouse i also made clay food and desserts and a little tea set thing <laughs> and pans for her little mice and a little oven situation from a doTERRA um a doTERRA like oil box that i had because the my Lai mice they have on their website like a little oven and it's just like a little cardboard some of their things look like a it's not cardboard but it's i don't know i don't know what that material is but like a really good quality cardboard i don't know <laughs> but it's basically that um and so i just made her that at home myself because it looked easy to make and so i just made that to go with it and i made all the little foods out of clay like everything's handmade and hand painted and her aunt Titi she helped me when I went to visit and I showed her what I made she made some for her as well she made the pumpkin pie the garlic toast the chocolate cake the um what else did she make the gingerbread yeah so it was really fun to make it it's kind of hard and tedious and to hand paint everything but i enjoy doing things like that and if i can do it i'm gonna just do it also a dollhouse table and chairs and a little high chair for the little baby a mini fridge like a little dollhouse metal fridge they have one on my light um they get pricey, okay? And I didn't want to buy everything. And they have one at Michael's that does the same thing. Maybe when she's a little older, I'll get her more of the nicer little things from my life. But this one was $10 from Michael's. And it's pretty... It's cute. It does the same thing. And she's gonna love it. Okay, I'm back in the room now. Also from Michael's. Um, we got her a boogie board, sketch drawing pad, doodle board. It's like such a long name. Ivy the ladybug. It's just a drawing board. 
like a drawing tablet and it's really cute and I remember um, one time when I was shopping at Michael's she really liked it and was playing with it but we didn't get it and yeah she's had one before but it was a cheaper version that I found like at TJ Maxx or something and the little pen we lost it and I tried to attach something else to it and it was just like a whole thing so yeah we got her a better one this one is much better quality and it's small usually the other drawing tablets are much bigger but this one's really small it's good for her little toddler hands and it has like a a nice quality carrying case thing on it and a strap so you can put it on like if you're gonna take it to travel and it's really nice quality and she's gonna be so excited about it i already know it so this disney animators collector's doll um we got the cinderella one because just like all the other little things that we've seen i've seen this before a long time ago but um the way that blair seen it was when we were watching those little toy videos on my phone together and it was so cute like she was so happy asking me i really want her i want her i was like oh my god and i tried to find her and she was really hard to find or just out of stock everywhere and so i looked on offer up and stuff and people were reselling her for a lot but just a lot so yeah i was like maybe i'll just have to end up getting one from one of these people but when i went to visit my mom i checked her target she was in stock so we went to go pick her up and yeah she's gonna love it it's very cute also this magic baby food play set by my sweet love another <laughs> another toy that we we just recently seen so we seen it on one of the youtube shorts and i looked it up and it was available at walmart and i don't like to go to walmart if anything i'll do a walmart order so that night i just made a walmart order for a couple things that i needed for the dollhouse and some food and i added this to my walmart order and I know she's gonna be so excited i know she's gonna love everything that we got her obviously we know our baby and what she loves but i know she's gonna be very excited about this and it was like five dollars we also found her this karaoke microphone thing from marshall's or tj max she loves to sing and her auntie caprice and michaela have a similar microphone at their house and she loves it so yeah, now she has her own for here. The next thing we got her was a very Blair dress. It's a sparkly white dress that I found at Burlington. Um, I got this dress for her aunt Michaela. And she was like, what about me? Where's my dress? We were already planning on getting her a dress anyway. So I found this one at Burlington for like $12.00. And she seen it when she, cause she was with me shopping and she loved it. So when Michaela opens her dress, I'm going to let her open her dress. And she already has like a tiara and little sparkly heels and little white gloves that will pair with it. So yeah. I also found her this Jen Erso doll from, ooh, where was it? Was it? Was it Marshalls? I don't know. I think it was Marshalls for like $5. It's from the Black Series. It's just a doll to add to her little people collection because I love Star Wars and one day Blair will too because she has taste. But yeah, so far she's just a little uh, Grogu baby fan girl. But she actually knows Grogu and likes watching The Mandalorian, so yeah. Good baby. Okay, so don't watch this next part with kids listening because I'm going to talk about Mr. Claus for a minute. So uh, Mr. Claus 
is not getting all the credit. Mm -mm. Not with my baby. Not ever. I love Santa though. But anyway, we just got her a plush from Santa, like her Santa gift. It's a a socks plush. Socks from Bluey. seen him in person i've seen him on amazon but i've never seen him in person so i just i didn't have a gift from santa for her so yeah um my baby knows that santa is not real that it's just pretend just to tend that's how she says pretend and that it's just a story that we like to play along with so we've always told her the truth and c communicated with her every year about it and every year she understands more and more so she knows it's just pretend and we're just choosing to participate in the little fairy tale aspect of it all because i just i love santa i love santa i love how we look i love santa i love santa okay i love the whole concept of him well not the you're not gonna get shit if you're naughty or that he's gonna come in here while you're asleep and he's gonna be in our house like maybe not that far <laughs> but i also just don't want to lie to my kid ever and it doesn't take away the magic i've already talked about a lot about this on my instagram a highlight about it on my instagram and in my other christmas videos i'm pretty sure i've talked about it but i just I don't want to lie to my baby and it does not take the magic away from everything we traditions are fun and if you do the whole thing with santa and your kids don't know that santa's not real that's fine and we're just going about it a different way and yeah that's fine too so the last thing i found with the socks plush is this baby bluey I can't believe I found them both at the same spot, the same store. I I didn't even know that Bluey Baby plush existed. Do we need more plush? No. We don't have too many though because I just gave a lot away while I was decluttering. Yeah. If you watched that last video about my little decluttering, that's probably my one little soft spot that I have trouble with decluttering is plush. So we don't need any more, but they're so cute. So now for stocking stuffers and ideas, usually we don't even do stockings, honestly, because at my we do Christmas at my mom's house and she always has a stocking for Blair full, so I think I'm only going to add um, a few things which I'll mention and then I'll talk about like more ideas that I think would be great. Another reason why we don't really do stockings besides my mom doing the stockings for her anyway is because um december 1st i usually have a december basket for blair that has all her um like holiday books and winter-ish books you know and i put toys and little things like that and snacks so yeah i usually that's what i like to do better than a stocking i think I'm not sure we've ever done a stocking for Blair, but we have added to her stocking, so. So, mini brands. My little sister, Michaela has recently got into mini brands because I'm pretty sure it was because of me. We've only ever got like one mini brand for Blair and we loved it. And mini brands are very cute and yeah, so mini brands. We got Blair one mini brands ball for her stocking and we got like a million for Michaela because that's all she wanted. So another good thing are these little woodsies babies. These little woodsies mystery surprise babies. So cute. She's only ever got two I think. We have two and they're really cute. They kind of resemble the calico critters but they're $2.99. 
at Target, so very affordable and really cute. And I picked up two of them for her stocking. Also, Zolly Pops, they're sugar free. Her dentists and other dentists, they know of them and they approve of these lollipops. They like them. So, if they're not bad for her, it's fine. Also, the Yum Earth candy canes. They're, I think they, they do have sugar, but they're like dye free, gluten free, vegan, kosher, all the whatever free. I don't know. But they're good and they're less terrible than the other ones. They're really good though. They taste like a fucking candy cane. So yeah, I would rather her eat those. <laughs> and the last thing that I'm going to put in her stocking is this spray bottle. <laughs> I found this spray bottle at Five Below and it's a very, very easy to use. And she likes to spray the mirror. She likes to clean and pretend she's helping cleaning so she's gonna love that last year i remember we put a duster we wrapped a duster <laughs> like a little cheap duster for her and when she opened it we know our baby we knew she was gonna love it because she liked my duster so we got her her own and everyone was like a duster <laughs> she was so happy she she loved it i know my baby it's the little things it's the little things so good things to have in their stockings i think are um things that they would need or perishables like snacks little candies whatever that are not gonna just linger around the house like little tiny toys because they're gonna eat them and then they're gonna go away so and other things that they would need like toothbrushes because obviously you have to change out toothbrushes often and there's so many different kinds you could get. It's little flossers, um, toothpaste, a box of band-aids, Blair calls them bandages. I taught her um, since she was born that they're called bandages because I've always wanted to hear a kid say that because we have all just said band-aids and she says bandage. You need a bandage. It's so cute. Yeah, anyway, so bandages. Um, Michaela, her aunt, Michaela, got her these bandages. She showed me on FaceTime. She's like, I got these for Blair. Don't show her. It was so cute. So she's going to love those. Sometimes she likes using them when she plays doctor with her little babies. So yeah, she's going to love that. Good old socks and slippers. You need socks need slippers so her Nona picked her up a couple things yesterday when we were at the Americana at Brand and this was one of the things she got for her and she's gonna love them I think she's I think she already seen them I'm not sure she did see the other thing she peeked but yeah she's gonna love these slippers piggy paints are great they're kid friendly nail polish and I've got them for her and Michaela before and they work great. A fresh pack of crayons, a beanie, pajamas, a mini wet brush, bows, clips, play-doh is a classic, play-doh is great, um, slime, I know a lot of parents don't like slime and are very anti-slime, no slime in the house. Play-Doh, kinetic sand, you know, but I love slime the other day and we played forever with it. Maybe that's why, because I'm sitting there with her playing with the damn slime, making sure everything's safe and clean and I'm a child. Maybe that's why, because I'm playing with the fucking slime. And it doesn't end up everywhere, all over the place. Slime's fucking fun. It's so fun. I like it. I think I liked it more than she did. But yeah, slime. Play-doh. Yodo cards, if you already have one. Um, yeah, watercolor paints are great. 
Blair loves to paint. She paints very often. Temporary tattoos is another good one. Um, Schleich Animals. That's my favorite brand of little toy animals. Little Fubbles. Snacks. Money. Yeah. So, we love books. And I haven't mentioned books at all in this video. Because when I do her December basket at the beginning of the month, I usually... We already probably picked up a couple new books for her at the store already to add to that or to add to her shelf and yeah we're never on a low for books but obviously books a great gift or for a December basket or a stocking stuffer um, Christmas books they can be like this Arctic animals or winter winter books just seasonal books yeah obviously obviously books so those are all my ideas for stocking stuffers and that's everything we're getting Blair for Christmas I know this video is like a second before Christmas but I don't know I'm pretty sure we all get things for our kids during the year anyway so yeah, I hope you got some ideas. Bye!